May the 28th, and we're 72 days after these were first planted. As you can see, there's considerable growth since the last time. We've actually placed some fertilizer and plant food on these potatoes now, and hopefully we'll be harvesting them in the next two or three weeks. At this stage, we've had to feed the plants. One of the principal points of this project was to keep the garden organic. And we have used these chicken pellets, which are basically chicken feed, and we sprinkle them all over the garden, about a handful per square metre. The potatoes will be ready to be lifted in about two weeks' time. They are an early uh, form of potato. These are the spinach, which probably a week later, so we're looking at three weeks' time to take the, the spinach up. The peas are a lot later than that. These will not be ready until about August, September. These are the radishes, which have now been in for some two months. As you can see, they're almost ready to be picked. We'll leave them for another two weeks, about, and then we'll probably pick them all and plant a new crop straight after. These are the lettuce we planted at the same time. You can see they've grown considerably in the last two or three weeks. I think these are a French variety. The last time you'll have seen these lettuce was when they were in the polytunnel as seedlings, something around this size. From there we planted them out and now you can see the considerable growth in the last two or three weeks. This is a basil mint plant. It's one of the herbs we planted very early on and you can see this is ready to, to eat now. Again the strawberries are beginning to fruit. What will happen with these is that they will throw out trailers which will cover most of this bed and again in four or five weeks time we'll be able to take the fruits off, off these. But here we have some more herbs. We have coriander, thyme, parsley and sage. Here's Jay planting up some geranium plants for the hanging baskets. These are going to go outside um, the entrance of Victoria House. Hopefully they'll be in flower in three or four weeks time. They'll look absolutely beautiful when they're flowering. A real impact flower. Here we have the tomato plants which we have now put into grow bags and they'll stay there until we actually pick the fruits off. Here in front we have uh, cucumbers which will be trailing along the floor for some time but Hopefully, we'll see some fruits very soon. Here we have some peppers. Um, notice the difference between these, which were planted two weeks ago, and this, which was actually planted four weeks ago. Considerable difference in size. Here we have a variety of tomatoes, peppers, courgettes, um, and some orange trees in here, which are at different stages of their development. Again, we can use these. Uh, later on to plant out into the grow bags. This is a different variety of tomato plants. These are actually vine tomato plants. Here we have cabbage. As you can see the rate of growth on there. Mixture of peppers and tomatoes. Again at different stages of development. Here we have sunflower seeds. About three weeks into their growth. We'll be planting these in one of the beds outside in the next couple of days.